Let's take a closer look at the new Haas VF23. The car had its first shakedown and there are some interesting design features to talk about. I worked in the aero departments of McLaren, Force India and Racing Point for a couple of years and today I'm a self-employed motorsport consultant, so let me know if you need help with your project. So let's start at the front. Haas kept their center-loaded front wing concept which helps to create more outwash already in front of the front wheels and the stronger suction in the middle helps to drag more clean air to the center and hence diffuser entry. A significant rule change is that the floor edge is raised by 15 mm this year. So the floor is sealed less and that makes it easier for the front wheel wake to get underneath the car and disturb the diffuser flow. To avoid that, we can see a huge side pod with a very aggressive outwash and small radius at the front. It then keeps a bluff sidewall for a long time while the lower part already curls inside. So the clean flow of the undercut area can be dragged towards the beam wing at the end. The top of the side pod is dished like last year's Ferrari. They drag clean air downwards but keep a high sidewall at the side, so it creates this bobsleigh design. But in contrast to other cars, they don't drag the flow all the way down. They release it around the upper wishbone height, while the flow below comes from the undercut area. The higher sidewall also helps them to keep clean flow at the center of the car while turning, and because of that they are also called in-washing bodyworks. The side pod intakes are far forward and have a huge undercut. A nice detail are the mandatory larger mirrors this year. Haas put an aero shroud around them to reduce the wake behind and reduce drag of these larger mirrors. Also, the upper part of the bodywork is very interesting. Haas kept their triangular intake, but the upper part for auxiliary cooling is much smaller. It seems to become a general trend this year to have larger side pods to keep the front wheel wake outside and away from the floor with its higher edge, and that's the reason teams put more cooling in the side pods and less in the center. And then it seems like Haas put a lot of work in managing the shark fin vortex. They use the Ferrari style vertical fins at the airbox to keep clean flow attached under yaw. If the pressure difference at the shark fin under yaw is less, the shark fin vortex is weaker. They then stepped the shark fin, so instead of one large vortex, they have two smaller ones, which are close to each other and rotate in the same direction, so they could cancel each other out. Also nice to see are the pitot tubes at the leading edge of the rear wing to check exactly this, the oncoming rear wing flow under yaw. Here they check now if the car really does what they saw in CFD. Strange looks the hump above the rear suspension for the exhaust and they use their center outlet with raised shark fin again. And it's not the only rake we see on the car. There was another one at the barge board to check the flow behind the front wheel. So all in all the new Haas VF23 looks like a good evolution of last year's car with larger side pods, which we expected. How do you like the new Haas VF23? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other F1 videos for more.